ask me any questions you may have. Oh, absolutely. All right. I'm going to read from this so I don't add We'd like to discuss the sign policy in the short field tonight. Um, it was up the April 2009 town meeting where the Hillview and Cox and Rector go to the jurisdiction of the field and track with a memorandum of understanding for the school, Cox and Rector, and the Hillview. We would like to request for your corporate business benefactor sponsorship policy that have as of March 22, 2004, through the school committee, through the superintendent, prior to display, permission to view the list of potential sponsorship. This list abides by the inter-organizational relations within school policies on signs. The number one, uh, no corporate business benefactor or supportive activity will be permitted in the district or on school grounds that promote the use of drugs, alcohol, tobacco, or firearms, promotes hostility, disorder, or violence, attacks or demeans an ethnic, racial, gender, or religious group, or supports a specific religion, or promotes or opposes any political candidate or ballot proposition or inhibits the functioning of any school. Fox and Rec did confirm the town building inspector Jim DeCola to verify that there are no signs permits required to use revenue enhancing signs and sponsorships who copied the town administrator, school superintendent, the town planner, and Fox and Rec. In Fox and Recreation, we also asked for clarification to the town council regarding the banner of signs sponsorship within the turf field to track the complex and receive the positive outcome. Based on that information, we'd like to submit a list of potential sponsors for a period of no longer than one year using the facility. So basically, that's the uh, reason for us coming tonight to see if we can kind of clarify some of those that we can move forward. Thank you. Thank you. Rita, are we certain that it's legal to put this kind of, I know what Jim DePaul had to say. But has anybody spoken to the CPC or gotten any kind of an opinion or, or uh, written opinion from the CPC to see what they say about the bylaws and whether or not we can actually uh, display that kind of advertising in a, in a public venue? Jim, we just went to Jim DeCole because we spoke to the town administrator because Jim DeCole was in charge of this committee uh, on that. He asked us to go to him to check with him. We did speak to Warren Pierce, who's the chairman of the CPC, only at a town meeting, not in a we never made a presentation to CPC. Warren has said he felt it was like within a building that you can display signs. It's the for these signs that we were talking about, banners, sign sponsorship, uh, within the facility, not on the outside of the fence, but within the facility. That's my understanding about with the Hillview and they, they, their preference was that he did not display the signs on the grandstand of the they, yeah, they asked for it not to be. We went and made a presentation to them to show them what we were going to be talking to the school committee about. We showed them some, uh, some banners in the front, and they have their position would be they prefer not to have it in the front so that when you drive by and you look in, they love that clear vista um, of, the, of the sign that, you know, the, what it looks like from there. But at that point, they said they were only saying that they would not like it there, and they would certainly want us to discuss it with the school committee for us to make sure that, you know, we're all you know, clear on that, and then we asked to come back to them and show what type of sign we would put up and we would put it up. Yeah, this is, I actually, um, I spoke with George Stack today, I think, just, just so you know, my position on this is, you know, without saying right now I, I approve of whatever signs you want to put up, I, I lean favorably toward finding a way to raise revenues with signs that are tastefully done, et cetera. Okay, so, so I, I'm kind of coming from it that I, I think this is a good idea. I, I spoke to George today. He actually called, he called my house and um, left a message, and I ran into it, stop and shop, doing the grocery shopping. It shows you how exciting my life is. But, um, Why are we doing the grocery shopping? Because my wife told me to. Um, so George, you know, George told me that they so voted. TV, yeah. I know right. they voted um, that they prefer not to have the signs as you said on the front of the bleachers, and also not have them along the fence on Park Street, which I don't think anybody was was considering. So I wasn't worried about that. Um, and he said that it's for the school committee and Parks and Rec to work together and get something that's also agreeable to Hillview, basically, which I think is what you just said. So. Um, I guess I'm a little confused though because I thought I think all three of us probably should be in, at some level of agreement on this but he's they've said no on the front of the bleachers is that I'm just trying to I'm trying yeah, to asked, you were at the meeting I was what wasn't, they asked so. before that night is they said would I like them to vote on one way or the other and how you know how we feel that our first preference because we felt that the funds that we could reach that we spoke to maybe 11 or 12 people to meet uh, 
approached and said, if we did any signs back, you know, we did any uh, sign sponsorship, if we charged a thousand dollars for one year on the front of that, would you be willing to pay? And eleven people bought, twelve people bought. That was a good idea. They would do it. When we met with the Hillview, they asked, could you still get that thousand dollars someplace else? And we said, we don't really know that. Originally, we thought it would be a good idea to put in the front of the bleaches, and Marty came up with that because we were going to buy some type of a mesh in front so that you don't get all the trash blowing in right. and out, and we keep the kids from climbing in and out. So we kind of took care of two things. One, we could immediately get some money to take care of that, and we could put signs up there as opposed to just some type of banner. So that was our first best idea. And when we did speak to the Hillview, they said they're not opposed to coming back to anything. They just, if they could keep, you know, a nice clean look and not have it in front of that, they would prefer not to have it there. But for clarification, when George Stack spoke with you, they said no in front of the bleachers. Do you know what their vote was on? They no vote to move the motion of the wedding? No, I don't know. He just said that they 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 prefer not to have it on the front of the bleachers and along the fence. So That's they, what he I, I'd like Rita to clarify that. I was not at the meeting, but there is a clarification okay. to that. There is a reason okay. as to why yeah. that was yeah. requested. They, were, they had asked that, that naturally um, they feel that they're the parents and we are the stepchildren mm -hmm. recreation in the school. So they right. want everybody to get along. They want everybody to feel like this is comfortable. Type of vote. He actually mentioned that to me too. Right. So yeah, he said the same thing. I figured he mentioned yeah. So that they it's wanted the us to be, you know, everybody be comfortable with that. They felt that we were taking was a comfortable feeling for everybody to be agreed on a lot of different things. So they didn't want to feel like either side was telling the other side what they had to do. So they said so that it wouldn't come down to tonight where it's going to be, what it's going to look like. They wanted us to come to the school committee meeting and talk about only you feel the sign policy is going to affect versus some of the things that we said, as opposed to, we want to put it there, we want to put it there, you don't like red, you don't like blue. With our feeling was in the school policy that we read that the content, what's going to be on the sign is no tobacco, no alcohol, no fire, no hostile type of things, and that should be within, you know, if the school says, yeah, that's a good idea, then we would determine through the superintendent, uh, who would bring it back to the school committee, uh, the names of the type of candidates who are looking for sponsorship, the proposal as far as where they would go. So we they not the vote then? Because that sends a message. A no vote sends a message. Why? They didn't like it on the, in the front of the, the in the front of the facility, in the front of the uh, under bleachers. They felt that you know that two of the, the purists that were on the turf field said if you don't need the money, we'd rather not to happen. That when you look in there, they like to see this thing operating on top. All right. So the specifics, just so I understand, the specific motion that the only on the location, only for the location. Yeah. not on whether they were in favor of signing or not. Absolutely. And they said after we worked it out at the school committee meeting, and they absolutely wanted us to come back, they agreed to do a walkthrough. We would have various types of signs, put it up throughout the park, what type of sign it would be, what the size would be, and where it would be. So they said after we get past the school committee, come back to the building. And I'll just confirm that's exactly what George said to me. He said, <coughs> Basically, you know, we're, we're, we're the parents here. We're not going to go back and tell you, you can only put signs here, you can only put signs here, you can't. He, he said, we, we would prefer that you don't put signs, as we've already discussed, in certain areas. But you work it out and then come back to us with something that's agreeable to, to the two of you, the, your two groups, and then hopefully it'll be agreeable to us. So he did not say no advertising, no fundraising, no whatever. They were just, they were just voting on that specific location. They don't wanted there. That was that that was readers, is your intention to dedicate all the revenues from any signs that go there if they go there to the complex? Absolutely. Absolutely. hundred percent of all the fun, all we the money that's we, raised from advertising now and going forward. We have a list of about three hundred three hundred and sixty, three hundred and seventy thousand dollars worth of things that before the turf group dedicated the deal. Uh, the lighting, the remainder of the lighting right now, we have oh, a right. two year um, maintenance, agreement. maintenance agreement on the lights. We originally had 25. So for the extra 13, 14,000 for that, 70,000 dollars worth of perimeter fencing, another 20 some odd worth of uh, inside security uh, fencing and gates, uh, uh, storage, storage storage facility, the concession stand to upgrade, the uh, just as it is, not with bathrooms or whatever. Uh, but you know, so just an additional list of which I can provide you tonight of things that we need to read on, not 
one in particular audience, one was to side the field, and that's when it came up to my that we had a very good chance to buy side at a very, very good price to the end of the season. They wanted to get rid of the side, they were going to give it to a recreation at a great price. Marty looked at his crew and said, if we got it within a certain period, we could install it. So at that time, back in February, if we were able to turn maybe $20,000, $25,000 of signs, we would have been able to purchase that. At this point now, we've missed that opportunity. See, originally, Rita, the school committee was very, very concerned before we ever took a vote or we entered into this memorandum of understanding, we transferred the field, we ended up in this beautiful complex, thanks to our efforts. But the school committee was extremely concerned about these types of things going forward. You know, how much control do we lose over the, the complex itself, which is still a high school facility that uh, is going to be home to a number of high school athletic events and other events as well, graduations and things like that. So it's not just athletics that are going to be held out there. So those concerns now are that going forward, that if we can't work in a collaborative way like we have in the past, whether it's the tennis courts or the turf complex with you in the Hillview, and that... Um, and all of these things, not just the putting up signs, but which projects are going to be done, what kind of projects are going to be done, things that are going to affect or impact that area, then we're, I think there's still going to be a lot of skepticism on the, on the, and a lot of maybe conflict between us and you and maybe the Hillview. So what I'd like to see is a collaborative effort where there's a representative maybe from the Hillview, the school committee, and the rec department that get together on these issues and try to you know, resolve them and come to a, a consensus we did invite Hillview here tonight. Well, I'm not saying that we have yeah. to have a meeting of all three committees. I'm saying a, a, maybe an ongoing designee. Like that yeah, an ongoing designee from issues. each group that can you, sit down. And you're going to help us fundraise? Why not? Well, really? well it, it's not an issue. <laughs> Don't the yeah, Mara, us it, do it's all a question of, you know, when you talk about signs, it's not just what types of signs. It's what, what are they going to look like? Where are they going to be? Where are they going to be located? You know, we're sitting there at graduation, and now all of a sudden we're surrounded by fence that's covered with signs. So we have to know and be comfortable with what they look like, who they're for, where the money's going, all those things. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm opposed to it. I'm just saying let's work together on it so that we can avoid it. I mean, here we are, the turf field's really in its infancy, and we're having our first kind of, you know, growing conflict, the growing pains. And I yeah. think to Jerry's point, it's not just when the idea comes to a point where it's ready to be implemented, but it's brainstorming takes place so that we have months to fine-tune it and present it to subcommittees. Right, but, but the, the issue, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but you know, when, when an opportunity of presenting itself like this, where you know, mm -hmm. we've got an opportunity to potentially purchase something, this is the type of thing that happens. So, you know, where we, you know, we need to develop a process, and I agree with that, I'm actually very supportive, like Mel, of doing this finding a good way to do it, but I would like there to be a process for collaborating that we all feel good about. Yeah. And that, and I like the idea of having one representative from Hillview, one from Parks and Rec, and one from School Committee, so that these things can be sort of brought up early, thinking about how we're going to handle this going forward. And that way we all feel like we have input into the process, and when things come up like this, where, you know, there's the opportunity to purchase something that would be a benefit to the turf field, but would require the examination of the MOU, we could avoid conflict in the future. Well, earlier, certainly would have been better. Um, but I just want to get back to Jerry's point so that I make sure everybody's questions are. Um, you asked about revenue, and I know the intention for this fundraising is for the SOD, but you said revenue going forward. Yes. So you mean from this time on, will the, the monies generated from fundraising through the signage, go towards that field or a school-related project? Yeah, I'll answer that question. Okay. The monies from this endeavor would not be going toward sod and sod only. I think Rita just said we have a list of $368,000 worth of improvements that need to be done. So even if we got 40 sponsor banners, banners at a full year, $1,000, that's $40,000. That's not a lot of money in respect of we already have $370,000 currently that needs to be done to the fields. Yeah. So that's putting aside whether we'd ever like to put bathrooms down there so that we wouldn't have to rely on the school being that's open. That's exactly what I'm asking, Laura. So the, yes. the money's dedicated This to money would be dedicated to that complex. Right. So, it, and, and we're not going to go in one fell 